monitoring spirits are entities that observe and report on the activities, thoughts, and behaviors of individuals. These spirits are thought to be malevolent, seeking to cause harm or disrupt the lives of those they monitor. This is a true life story of Henry, a Christian who was delayed in life by an unknown but close monitoring spirit. Congratulations Mr. Henry. You are finally in the last phase of the interview and you are the only one that was successful during the previous phase. You will be meeting with the CEO himself. At this point, all I need to tell you is congratulations, because you have scaled through the difficult stage. The boss only needs to explain the job description to you and tell you your pay. So, once again, congratulations to you. You have one hour break. You can go to the company's cafeteria to eat. Feeding is free here. You can have fun and come back in an hour's time. Wow. I am so happy to hear this sir. Thanks for your support so far. God bless you sir. I am really excited to hear this news. May God continue to bless you. Welcome to the team. We can't wait to have you on board. I'll show you around before you leave today. Thank you for your kind gesture. I really need to go to the cafeteria. I haven't eaten since the interview started. All right then. I'll take you. All these for me? This is huge. So, I'll be working in this big company? With free food and other free things? Thank you Lord Jesus. I need to call my mom and inform her of this latest development. She will be so happy to hear this. The Lord has finally done it. What has the Lord done again? My son Henry, told me just now that he's at the final phase of the interview. According to him, they've started congratulating him. Just that, the boss needs to see him first to discuss pay and job description. He told me that he was the only one selected among others. He also said that the company is very big and that they also give them free lunch with other gift items. Can't you see that the Lord has blessed me now? I have been blessed richly by God. Wow, great news. This is mind-blowing. See how God has answered our prayers. Our fast didn't go in vain. I am so happy and excited to hear this. We will definitely celebrate. But you didn't even tell me he was going for an interview. I am sorry dear friend. It escaped my mind. It happened in a rush, so he had to go. And see what the Lord has done now. I am overly excited. My son will now take proper care of me. And me too. Give me few minutes. I need to quickly use the restroom. All right, friend. Henry can never succeed while I'm alive. Not even when my own son is useless. Until his life becomes like that of my son, who is useless, I will not stop. My friend is already happy that her son will take care of her. What then will happen to me? My own son is an addict, in the prison with no future or hope, and she thinks her own son can live happily? No, I won't allow that. It is okay if he graduated from school with good grades, and his mom was rubbing it on my face. I won't allow him achieve anything other than his degree. May I die, and bid this world farewell and I day Henry succeeds in life and I will never allow that. Over my dead body will he achieve any great thing in life. Henry, you shall be denied the job. You shall be disgraced out of that place. Instagram of fame, you shall be put to shame. You shall be denied all good things. So shall it be. You spent time in the restroom. What were you doing? I had so much to release. Plus, I helped you with the laundry. That's my friend. Thank you so much. I am always grateful to God for bringing you across my way. We've been friends even before our kids were born, and you've stood by me ever since then. Thank you so much dear friend. I promise to always share everything about me to you. 
You are a part of me. Nothing is hidden to you. Thank you for the privilege. I am so glad you trust me this much. I promise to stand by you and pray together with you. You are a good friend. You are. Henry, sir. The man for the job. May I sit, please? Sit where? Is this your company? You sound so proud and I can't take such person in my company. Young man, you can't have the job. Please take your leave. I'm sorry sir. But I was told that I have gotten the job. What have I done wrong sir? Is it the food I ate? Or me requesting for a sit? Please, forgive me sir. Your presence alone nauseates me. I feel irritated seeing you here. Leave my office immediately before I call the security on you. And you know what that means. Please, forgive me sir. My mom is already jubilating. I can't go home without my employment letter. Please help me sir. You will never be disappointed please. Young man. I said leave my office. I am sorry sir. But I am not leaving here without my employment letter. I have been looking for job ever since I graduated. I got one now and I can't let it go sir. Do whatever you want to do, but I'm not leaving here. I should do whatever I want to do right. Han recalled me just now. He has been arrested and he's currently at the station. Oh my goodness. What did he do? I thought he has been employed already. My son is not a criminal. I am scared. Can you please follow me to go and see him? I am having diarrhea. Let me quickly use the toilet. I'll meet you over there. I am so sorry about this dear friend. Thank you. Let me be on my way. Madam. You need to warn your son. It might not be this easy next time. He clearly was threatening that man. I'll warn him. Thank you so much for the assistance rendered. I am grateful. Can he leave now? Yes, you both can. Son. Mom. What happened exactly? Mom, I was eating when I called you. And immediately after, I had to meet with the CEO. According to the hour, I already got the job, but the CEO only wants to meet me in person. Only for me to get to his office and he started saying all manner of things to me. He screamed at me ordered me out. I refused to leave his office and he got me arrested. I am so sorry about that son. A better offer will come. Maybe this job wasn't meant for you. No mom. This job is meant for me. I was so close to getting employed. Mom, am I cursed? Why is it that I find it difficult to get employed despite having good grades? It is either I get rejected when I am close to getting employed or I don't get chosen at all. What have I done wrong? So many bad things keep happening to me. Do not worry son, this too shall pass. I am so sorry I couldn't come with you the other day. I had severe diarrhea. I even had to go to the hospital. So sorry about that. How do you feel now? I feel better now. So, tell me, what's up with Henry? Did he get the job? No, he didn't. He was arrested. But, that shouldn't be a problem again. He has gone for another interview. He'll be back soon. It seems positive. And guess what? My son's fiancé dad wants them to get married as soon as possible. He insists they get married soon, and since Henry is jobless, he introduced Henry to one of his friends to employ him as an engineer. So, we are optimistic. We shall surely hear good news on Henry. But how come I didn't know that Henry was in a relationship? And it has become that strong? You know Henry likes to keep his things private. He told me they were just friends before he spilled it out few weeks back. And you cannot tell me since then? 
Don't tell me you were angry. Are you? It is just relationship now. They are yet to get married. They are just about to. Do not be angry, my friend. All right. I have forgiven you. But you need to tell me these things on time. I feel like you are hiding so much from me. No. I am not hiding anything from you. Have you forgotten how you are to me? Friend like sister. We are inseparable. Let me get you something to eat. I am sorry. I won't be able to to eat now. I need to get somewhere real quick. You said you were going to spend the rest of the day here. Where are you going? I'll tell you when I'm back. I need to rush now. It's okay then. I have been worried, Henry. Where have you been? I called your phone but you weren't answering. What is the problem? How was the interview? Mom. It is now I believed that I have been cursed. Things are not working for me at all. I was chased out of the company like a thief. I was embarrassed today. Mom, I'm tired already. I was expecting good news. This is becoming too much. How long will this last for? Ah. Oh my goodness. What happened to you, Henry? Did you break something? Why are you so angry? Sonia just broke up with me. With no reason or excuse. She said she is tired of me. Mom, I am finished. I might end up killing myself. I have been bewitched. Nothing good is happening in my life again. You are not finished in Jesus' name. And you are not bewitched. Do you want me to talk to her? She threatened to arrest me if I come close to her. Mom, we spoke this morning and everything was perfect. She was still asking me when I would come visiting her dad. Mom, I'm shattered. That's the only woman I've ever loved. Jesus Christ, what is happening to my son? This can't continue. I know what to do, Mom. You just go to bed. I'll think of a solution too. I'll call Alice, my friend, and talk to her about this. We'll just have to intensify in our fasting and prayer. She's always willing to fast and pray for you. I'm just tired. Pastor, I'd been facing immense struggles in securing a job since I graduated. I'm constantly facing disappointment just when I'm on the brink of employment. To add to this hardship, I've also suddenly lost the relationship, leaving me feeling overwhelmed by misfortune. I feel like I have been bewitched. Henry, your story is indeed a touching one. You see, sometimes, little things makes man enter difficult situations. But one thing I know, is that God will definitely reveal the problem. I'll give you some prayer points with some Bible verses. Ensure you do not tell anyone that you are fasting, I mean, no one should know that you are fasting. Come back and tell me whatever you see. All right, man of God. I'll do as you have instructed. Thank you so much, sir. Isaiah 28, 18 says, And your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then you shall be trodden down by it. Isaiah 44, 24 to 25, Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, that frustrateth the tokens of the liars, and maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men backward, and maketh their knowledge foolish. Zechiel 13 20 to 23, Wherefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith you they hunt the souls to make them fly and I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that you hunt to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also will I tear, and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Because with lies you have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strengthened the hands of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way, by promising him life. Therefore you shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Revelation 12 11-12, 12, 
and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. In the name of Jesus. Every agreement I have accepted knowingly and unknowingly that the enemy uses as right to monitor and access my life, I break it now in Jesus' name. O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ I decree that every covenant or agreement established by any forces of darkness with my soul, spirit, and body to monitor me and my destiny break now by fire in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ every material token taken from me spiritually or physically that is kept in strange place to gain access to me and monitor me break in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ I command every token or statue prepared in any hidden place, altar or shrine to monitor me and my progress to scatter right now by fire in Jesus' name. O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ set now on fire every stocks tired to me to take record of all of all my ways to report it to secret and wicked chambers now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ I call this breakable bottle in my hands to become the spell, charms, bewitchment or manipulation that is sponsoring this wicked monitoring in my life in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ as I break this bottle in my hands O oh Lord my God I break the monitoring spirit and system working in my life and as the oil flow on the earth so will I be disconnected forever in Jesus' name. O oh Lord in the name of Jesus Christ by this mystery I release the spirit of Jehovah's blindness upon them and their spiritual eyes towards me and my destiny forever and I command you shall not see me again in Jesus' name. O oh Lord destroy completely whatever evil that this monitoring has caused in my life and destiny in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ I am free completely from all form of demonic monitoring and evil in Jesus' name. By the blood of Jesus Christ I completely overcome this wickedness in Jesus' name. Amen. Any stranger of sorrow after my life, carry your own load in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, every embargo, every limitation placed on my life, break such limits by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Ancestral limits in my foundation, I break your covenant by fire, in Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of limitations attacking my life, release my destiny now in Jesus' name. Father Lord release me from every unseen rope tying me in one spot in Jesus' mighty name powers of the night attacking my destiny, thunder fire of God, destroy them without recognition in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to turn my life upside down die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Occurring problems following me around from one place to another catch fire of God in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord disappoint my enemies in the name of Jesus. Unseen powers working against my life to die in Jesus' name. Power swallowing my favor die in Jesus' name. Every throne of the evil monitoring spirits be dismantled by fire in Jesus' name. Every satanic mirror operating in my life explode in Jesus' name. Father Lord let the weapons of the wicked over my life die in Jesus' name. Every communication systems used by monitoring spirits over my life be destroyed in Jesus' name. Every witchcraft coven harboring my destiny receive the fire of God in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father turn every curse upon my life into glory and blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Every work of witchcraft, over my family, be destroyed in Jesus' name. Evil powers surrounding my life die in Jesus' name. Father Lord, I thank you for answering my prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord, I thank you for answering my prayers in Jesus' name. Where am I? This place looks so scary. What am I doing here? How did I get here? Who is here? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Mother. What are you doing here? Why am I here? You are here because you are under my bondage. You can't make it while I'm aware of everything going on in your life. I will destroy you completely. I will destroy you Henry. Your mother will destroy you. Ask your mother. Mom. Mother. Mother. That dream was terrifying. Is my mom a witch? Why did she put me in bondage? What did I do to her? Is this dream true? My mom is a witch. Ah. Uh. Contrary to your thoughts Henry. Your mother is not a witch. 
she's just the instrument used to get you and monitor you. Let me share what the revelation I saw to you. Who are you? Why are you tormenting Henry? Because I am his mother, I am dealing with him. Who are you to question me? I am a child of God. And I command you to reveal yourself. I am a monitoring spirit. I have determined to destroy Henry. I am a servant to the goddess of tree and water. I monitor people and give information about them. If I am in a difficult situation, I usually report to my goddess. I have vowed to destroy Henry. The only thing that can make him succeed is when I am no longer alive. So be it. Quick one brethren, before we go back to the video. Monitoring spirits are spiritual entities that operate in the supernatural realm, tasked with observing and monitoring individuals' lives. Their objective is to gather information, take notes, and report back to the forces of darkness, looking for vulnerabilities to exploit. They essentially run a spiritual surveillance mission. The concept of monitoring spirits is biblical. The Bible mentions these malevolent beings in various passages. In the book of Job, Job 1, 7, for instance, the sons of God present themselves before the Lord, and Satan is among them. The Lord asks Satan if he has considered his faithful servant Job, indicating that spiritual beings observe and report on our lives, like a spiritual surveillance network. 1 Peter 5 8 warns believers to be sober and vigilant because the devil, our adversary, roams like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. This suggests that spiritual forces actively seek opportunities to harm and hinder believers. It's important to note that monitoring spirits are not omniscient like God. They can only observe and gather information from what they see and hear. They have no power over our thoughts or access to our innermost hearts. However, they can exploit weaknesses and unguarded areas in our lives, so it's crucial to be on guard against them. Now, let's talk about the signs of monitoring spirits. These peculiar events often leave you puzzled and questioning what's happening. If you've been noticing these signs, it's important to investigate further. Firstly, consider unexplained prolonged challenges. Imagine facing difficulties that persist indefinitely, like a stubborn issue that refuses to resolve. It feels like being trapped in a continuous cycle of hardships. This could indicate the influence of monitoring spirits, aiming to keep you down and impede your progress. Next, observe patterns of repeated failures and setbacks. Have you felt stuck, encountering obstacles no matter how hard you try? It seems like every advancement is followed by regression. This recurring pattern is not by chance. Monitoring spirits specialize in creating obstacles to hinder your success, leaving you disheartened and defeated. Furthermore, watch for sudden struggles in areas of success. You may have been excelling in a particular area, only to experience a sudden downfall. It's as if your achievements are being sabotaged. Monitoring spirits delight in disrupting your victories, transforming them into challenges, leaving you bewildered. Lastly, consider persistent negative thoughts and feelings. Do you find yourself grappling with incessant negativity that refuses to dissipate? It's like being followed by a dark cloud, dampening your spirits. These unrelenting negative emotions may be a result of monitoring spirits planting doubts and fears in your mind. Let's go back to the video. Have you seen now that your mother is not to be blamed? She was only used as a tool to gather information about you. 
So many people have allowed themselves as instruments to other people's downfall, because they simply can't keep their mouth shut and stop spreading information about others. Pastor, I am still surprised at this revelation. So, my mom's friend is the one monitoring me? Hindering my breakthrough all these while. Ah. Uh. Now that you know the source of your problem, one thing you need to do is to keep shut. Your mother is not a witch, but you have to refrain from telling her anything about you for now. If it is possible, travel to a far distance, but paint a picture that you went there to suffer. If possible, call her every day and beg her for money. Until you have a breakthrough, you can then come back home and take care of her. Your mom loves her friend, and there's nothing you can tell her to stop her talking to her friend about you. Once again, your mother is not a witch, do not fight her, make sure you take good care of her. The monitoring spirit disturbing you said she will die if you succeed. I am telling you today by the power of the Holy Spirit that your success will lead to her downfall. The prayer point I'll give you is that, anyone that doesn't want to see me succeed, should die. It is not a curse, this woman swore to an oath, and it is high time she dies. Follow my instructions and abide by it. Christians needs to have discerning spirit such that, they'd be conscious of the things that happen around them. God bless you. I'll keep your instructions, Pastor. God bless you, sir. I am really grateful. All glory be unto the Lord. Close your eyes, let's pray. Mom, I have decided to go and start farming. I'll help them do manual jobs. I don't think I'm destined to work here. Since when have you started thinking about this, Henry? You want to become a manual laborer. I won't allow that. Mom, you have to accept. I will be fine, Mom. Just continue praying for me. Let me think about it, Henry. I'll ask your second mother, too. Just give me till tomorrow. All right, then. He wants to go and start manual jobs? It is very good, then. He'll still be begging for food. It is equivalent to my son in the prison. I won't have to worry too much. Yes, I am overly excited. Not when I am alive. Henry will continue to struggle. <laughs> it's been several months Henry went to another city and got employed. He continued calling his mom for money. This made his mom's friend very happy, unknown to her, Henry is employed. Tonya, who broke up with Henry reached out to him and they started planning their wedding. One fateful day, Alice was rushed into the hospital as a result of a severe cough. I rushed down immediately I heard of your condition. You never told me you had terminal illness. What happened? Why didn't you tell me about Henry's success? It is killing me. Why didn't you tell me that your son has achieved so much? You made me believe he's still begging from you. I have swore with my life that I'll die if Henry succeed in life. I am jealous of the fact that your son was more brilliant and responsible than mine ever since we gave birth to them. I have always envied everything you have. I got close to you to start monitoring your life. I got initiated into a secret society that monitors people affair. No matter what, I can't survive this. Death is the penalty. So, you are the one behind our misfortune all these while. I loved you, I took you as my sister and family. Ah. I leave you to God. She died that evening. I pray that anyone that has vowed not to see you succeed shall die mysterious death in Jesus' name. Son, see the beautiful house you bought for me. I am so proud of you. I am sorry for all that has happened. I have learned my lessons. 
I pray that you will never be delayed in life. I pray that your upcoming wedding shall be a success. Every monitoring spirits are destroyed in Jesus' name. This is just the beginning of great things in your life in Jesus' name. I can't believe you have achieved so much in such a short while. God is to be praised. Mom. All glory belongs to God. Thank you for understanding. God bless you too mom. Mom, I need to go and meet Tonya. I'll see you later mom. To chase away monitoring spirits. Refrain or resist the urge to let people know your next move or plan, until whatever you are planning becomes successful. Be prayerful and pray for the spirit of discernment. Be closer to God, study the word of God. Forsake sin, and accept the Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Do not boast about your achievement or success, not everyone is happy for you. Be careful and run from people who ask you too many questions about yourself or family. Monitoring spirit can only act on what they hear and see. God bless you.